Hey guys, it's Matt Hagens. A common criticism of the prequel trilogy is the development of the relationship between Padme and Anakin. Most of the complaints on this topic are directed toward actor Hayden Christensen for his performance during these scenes as Anakin Skywalker in Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Hayden is slammed for delivering unauthentic, woody dialogue, making the scenes between Anakin and Padme cringeworthy. An explanation that the fans came up with was to blame George Lucas for poor writing. However, I will present evidence that supports a deeper meaning behind Hayden's performance. Let's look back to the time before The Phantom Menace. Growing up as a slave, young Anakin was exposed to a socially deprived environment. He worked long hours, having little free time to develop his social skills. In addition, his interactions with the patrons of Watto's shop were most with ones likely not respectful towards slaves. This exposure at a young age contorted Anakin's view on right and wrong, and fueled, even more, his desire for revenge. However, there was a shining light in Anakin's life that was his mother. His mother taught him gratefulness and respect towards all beings, even those who did not respect him. This is why we see a boy eager to give his winnings to Qui-Gon after winning the pod race. Following Anakin's win in the Boonta Eve pod race, Anakin is transferred from the socially deprived environment of Tatooine to a socially deprived life as a Jedi. Anakin's Jedi studies committed most of his time and as a Padawan he rarely interacted with others outside of the Order, again depriving him of the opportunity to develop his social skills. Additionally, the Jedi condemned attachments and therefore pushed for the suppression of one's emotions. During his entire childhood, the most crucial time for a person to understand how to interact with others, Anakin is confined to a lifestyle that rejects emotional expression and subsequently allows for little outside interactions. In Attack of the Clones, we see an Anakin that has physical maturity for his age, but lacks emotional and social maturity. If you compare Anakin's interactions with Padme in The Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones, we see his mannerisms with her are not much different. This indicates that he has matured very little emotionally and socially. Due to the Jedi's suppression of emotions, his feelings of lust and desire for Padme are relatively foreign to him, and so he does not know how to express these emotions. Combine that with his lack of social skills, Anakin does not know when the expression of these emotions are appropriate. This is why we see him attempt to woo Padme in the presence of Obi-Wan in Attack of the Clones, and it's why Anakin's attempts at seduction are very cringy because he does not know how to express his love for Padme. In the end, it is Anakin's upbringing, both as a slave and a Jedi, that is responsible for his awkwardness around Padme. So that's about it, guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more prequel-related content, including lore, discussions, as well as anything canon about the prequel trilogy. Thanks, guys, and may the Force be with you, always.